going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at y'all with another video. And in this one, I'm specifically gonna talk about the money from tech type of majors. This is a continuation from the last video I just posted. So back to the electrical, computer engineering, and then computer science engineer. So let's just say you're a average engineer. You did okay, you made okay grades. You had one experience, one internship experience. So you have some under your belt. You did little projects here and there. You have a little a little experience from your classes where you could say you did this project to a recruiter. So just on average, when it comes down to prices and how much typically the different type of tech majors make. So I'll say electrical, you graduated, you had one internship experience, your GPA is it's okay, you know, it's not too bad. You had like a like a, a 3.0. I'll say typically you'll make probably around 70 to 80. I'll say like around that range. So then when I say for the computer engineers, I'll say you'll typically make around about, I'll say around like 75 to like 85. And then computer science people, I'll say it'll probably be around about 85 to, mm, I'll say 85 to like 90. Like computer science people, they get paid the most Computer engineers, they get paid, I feel like it's it's kind of in between, like it fluctuates between electricals and then computer sciences. And then electrical, they typically probably wind up getting paid the least. So the reason why that is because like electrical, they're easier to find, like finding people that already have this passion of, you know, working on electricity, putting stuff together, actually uh, building things. A lot of people we could easily say, oh yeah, we know it's a lot of people who are into like technical type of things of making and building robots and making this and making inventions and all of that. So it's easy to find that. It's not a whole, whole lot of people where recruiters can go out and say like, I wanna find a average or basic computer science major who have some experience already. Like they literally have to go hunt for that. So when they finally go hunt for it and they find a legit one, like they pay them. Like computer science majors, most of them, nine times out of 10, like they're starting out with good salaries all the time. And from what I didn't heard from like all of my friends, most computer science majors, their salaries are usually higher than the other electricals and computer engineers. So that's the difference. Um, computer engineers really, they really fluctuate really between the two, but I feel like it's a little bit higher than electricals. But the electricals, I feel like they're on the lower end because it's just so many of us and it's a lot of jobs pretty much that could easily be fulfilled also so you have to take that into account with computer engineering is not it's people that know computer engineering it's people that understand computers like on a level of being a, a, a type of person to put computers together fix computers do this with computers make computers um hardware and all of that come back to life if it's messing up or rebooting you're able to just basically go in and dissect the computer and revive it like there's a lot of people that know how to do that but when it comes down to some computer engineering to the point to where you can basically explain down to the point of how to go about creating processors for a computer or exactly how to code certain scripts to make a computer do certain things in a, in a way that other people can't i feel like that's extremely valuable so that's pretty much what i'll say and how i will say that computer engineers kind of have like that leg up and the fact that they can do the same thing that electricals can do and they have a taste of what the coding people can do with computer science so that's pretty much what i'll say when it comes down to the pay range but if you're somebody who like graduated and you know you have like a lot of experience and you're elite in your field like the limit the limit can go high i've heard 100k through all of these different majors in electrical and computer engineering and in computer science definitely computer science but yeah like i've heard 100k if you make good grades and you have some internships under your belt and Finally, if you have like legit projects that you made, you'll be perfectly fine. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help the channel. Definitely go check out my Instagram, DreDaPlug123.
and then go also check out my other youtube channel i'll have a link down below this was the channel i started a little while ago Oh, it's basically about barbering and basically giving your own self a fresh cut and looking nice when you step out the house. So definitely check out that channel. I do all types of different haircuts and I'll be looking forward for the next video that drops. And I'm out.